With Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 coming to an end, and with the manga presumably ending next year, I thought it was finally time to reveal the main brush that Gege Akutami Sensei uses. And to be honest with you, the way I discovered it was all by accident. Now, line art is probably one of the most important and vital things in your illustration, as it is the glue that puts the whole thing together. Finding your own line art style can be rather daunting, and sometimes it takes a sense of exploration and a sense of looking at yourself in the mirror and being like, You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. In this video, we'll be covering how to achieve this line art style in both traditional and digital means. And the easiest way to achieve this through traditional means is what you're seeing. And you could just really use a fine liner, a 0.51, which really kind of achieves the same effect. Also, I did a couple of illustrations of Tsukaijin. And I've been really just trying to get better at drawing on paper. Did one of Gojo himself, the legend. A few portraits here and there. One of Mei Mei, probably one of my favorite characters until a specific scene. And I'm pretty sure she's on the list. I just got leaked. Nice fighter boy. One of my favorite funk songs out there. What are you doing? Anatomy study. And I did one of the katana girl herself. She's got bonda. <laughs> the brain, the myth, the legend. The one that took a load for the plan. It's all for the plan, you just... And the one last one of Mei Mei. If you're familiar with Clip Studio Paint, one of the most main brushes that everybody uses is the classic G Pen. Now, G Pen is in reference to the actual dipping style pen where it's various different kind of nibs that you could use traditionally. And uh, you have the thinner or thicker and uh, just a different application sense of style. And those ones are the primary ones that I've been dabbling with. Now, one of the weird things that you've come to realize is the transition from traditional to digital. Primarily, most manga is done traditionally, but for the most part, nowadays, everybody seems to be doing digital. This leads us to one of the most important and vital things is finding a brush pack or finding a brush that you're comfortable with. In our lovely community, if you scroll through the comment section, you will find two people. One is the yeah, and the other one is asking what brush are you using? If you scroll through the comment section, you'll most likely find one of those mofos, and sometimes that's honestly me. All right, well, searching for a brush pack and searching for all these things will inevitably give you assets and tools. And on along your journey, you'll come to find out that, hey, maybe just maybe it really isn't the brush and it's more the individual. For the longest time, I thought if I just find the right brush to use, it would set me free and it would finally give me my own unique art style. And style is really derived from the application of ink through the means of line art. Now, line art, what I truly believe it to be is a representation of the self. One of the primary examples is to pay attention to specifically how Gege Akatami uses the beginning and ending point to a line and I feel like that's probably one of the most important ones or just the ability to leave off a trail and to indicate that really every line matters put all this effort into line work and sometimes for you to just to cover it up which kind of sucks to really think about it now the Jujutsu Kaisen style is primarily what I believe to be more of a ball pin kind of illustration and in my deep dive and pursuit of trying to find the, the style that I like I've also came probably across some of my favorite brushes and the line work by the illustrator right here uh, their work is just fucking spectacular their penmanship is just rather amazing and not even to mention their color work and finished illustrations but it's these pen illustrations that really give me hope and make me want to go draw more on paper and that's something that i really look forward to and nevertheless you should always explore with these things and by the way they're bush so fucking nobody in the comment section that comes to me is right here it's the dong filipinos fine touch 0.2 gel pen they also use the panda gel pen and you could see in comparison comparisons the pen kind of style versus the G pen and the amazing illustrator Tony Valente is the one right here a French mangeka who's using G pen and you can compare and contrast the styles I was watching one of the Proko videos and they were hosting the Marvel and comic book illustrator Ryan Benjamin who did a couple of runs of Batman and he was talking about the brushes that he would use traditionally in contrast to the ones that he would use digitally and here you go the brushes I'm actually using this is a really cool brush it's, uh, it's a brush that you can download on the studio so you can just go to the Clip Studio assets and just look up a brush called Maneo. And Maneo is this tool that was created by a Japanese artist. You can actually just download it. It's free. You can get it, start inking it immediately, and start producing pieces very similar to this. It's one of my favorite tools. I pretty much use this for everything on my covers, on my interior pages. I'm more concerned about this line work, that that energy that's coming up from the side of his head. As an inker, you have to interpret lines. At the same time, you're not just interpreting the line, you're also trying to tell, let people know this is a finger over here. You have to think, okay, this finger is here. So focus on 
the contours like this of the fingers first before you start going and start to, to fill in the black. First of all, let's give credit where credit's due. Without Momeo Kan, there would never be the current JJK line art style. What is rather beautiful about this brush is that every illustrator who uses it almost comes out with a different sense of application to it. This can all be done by tweaking the brush settings. Here are my current brush settings and my tablet settings as well to increase the beginning and ending point output, which I hope this actually ends up helping you. Manga versus comics is really just the uh, application of shading style. The shading style could be really just seen how shadows are rendered, but it's the idea of leaving more of a thin beginning and a very kind of dot ending. It's what really this pen kind of does. Now the Jujutsu Kaisen style has evolved over the years and from the beginning it was very clean and very crispy. And you could see the evolution begin from the very first one shot to nine to all the way to the very first chapter to even Jujutsu Kaisen zero, the current chapters. Now the Jujutsu Kaisen style is primarily sketchy and it's more raw in my opinion. Highly advise you add this to your arsenal just like any other tool that we're using nowadays in our illustration drawing process. Personally, I'm more of a fan of the sketchy line art style. It shows an artist's frustration with time, but it's them defeating time in itself and always showing up week in and week out and delivering us with a spectacular chapter. Now, I believe the creator of Dandaran has a very similar effect and it's specifically done around the shading marks of clothes. Also, another creator that I would like to share with you that has a similar style, Phenomenal Manwa that I've been reading for the past couple of days and it only has 12 chapters out, so you can go check it out and get caught up. It's called The Crow and I promise you, it's probably one of the best Manwa out there. I've become kind of a wizard at detecting who uses this pen and who doesn't because the easiest way to tell is if you were to zoom in you could always see an ending point to the line it's the idea to make a line count and to make it pop now in comparison and contrast to the way I use it I tend to draw more thicker because I have a fucking heavy hand but on the other hand you can see very very sharp and thin line that this illustrator does get around the nose point and the ear marks as well there's a weird and contrast way because this brush in a sense has 200 plus thousand downloads which means there are a lot of different illustrators who use this. Miyazaki Sensei in his early adolescence was heavily inspired by the likes of Astro Boy and just reading the works of the father of manga himself, Tezuka Sensei. When his career was kicking off, he was illustrating the likes of Treasure Island and various different works and teenage Miyazaki probably saw this and was heavily inspired and it was this inspiration that led him to begin drawing the anime like style. But then it was that first love and the beginning set him free later on in the years began to hinder his growth. Miyazaki's early illustrations were compared to Tezuka's of people simply saying oh that's the Astro Boy style really took a toll on him it took a toll on him so bad that he ended up taking all his illustrations that he has drew in the style and he ended up burning them for the longest time when I started using this brush, I was really searching for a brush that made me feel free. I hated the way the G-Pen feels digitally because it doesn't feel real if it was a bland brush for me. And finally stumbling across the Momento brush pack, in a sense it really made me feel free. It felt like I made these illustrations and for the longest time I finally came up with my own style. And it's really just that I'll be wearing fake leather. Fucking raining man, shit gonna fuck up my fucking leather man. Shit ain't leather. Fuck you, who the fuck is you, fam? frustrated me so bad that I ended up going back and redrawing most of the pages that I had let this line art style dominate and I'm in these crossroads of whether I should and shouldn't use this brush comes that sense of comparison and that sense of man is that shit real leather and you know maybe I'll continue using it maybe I won't I really haven't decided for the most part I've been using this other brush which kind of gives me a really a similar feel I'm still on a long way journey of finding my own art style because I feel like you can't just really find it in one day art style is really forever evolving I think there is a big beginning to it but there's never really an end at the end of the day i feel one of the most important things to realize is a one a brush won't set you free because it's just a tool in your arsenal two is continuously try to experiment with various different brushes but also don't fall into that trap of constantly finding the next creator who's like oh yeah here's my brush pack you could finally draw like me it's kind of bullshit unless there's a full in-depth tutorial on how to use these brushes getting 90 different brushes at the same time will just certainly fucking give you a headache because trust me i have like over like 500 brushes brushes probably end up only using like 20 of them i feel like if you could just be able to draw something quickly instead of spending 13 hours on an illustration or 12 hours on a fucking illustration spending two or three and getting the same result or maybe i would say maybe 50 percent of that result is to me a lot better than spending hours on end just for you to upload it online and have it turn into a two second reel which i guess it's the current frustration of the modern age as currently everybody's trying to be an artist and we're all trying to up one another and trying to all find our own style and sometimes styles really derive 
aside from the individual. And the first base an individual has to conquer or uh, the first arena in Heaven's Arena is to figure out your line art style. Comment down what you think and if this brush really helps you or what brush that you're currently using. I'd love to like, experiment with those as well. And uh, what brush packs have you bought that have kind of in a sense were worth the money or actually kind of worth it? Because I've bought a few and uh, I've been disappointed in most of them because they're always advertised as something and then in all honesty, they just end up being hit or miss. Hit or miss. Go fucking sketch something, dog. I'll see you on the next one.